Welcome back to Zach's Deck. Today, we're diving into the world of Linux Mint, a popular choice among Linux enthusiasts. If you've been thinking of trying it out or simply want to create a bootable USB, this video is for you. Linux Mint is a popular distribution of the Linux operating system. It's designed for general purpose use on desktops and laptops, aiming to provide a complete out of the box experience by including browser plugins, media codecs, support for DVD playback, Java, and other components. Open your favorite web browser and head over to the official Linux Mint website. Linux Mint comes in a few different flavors or additions. The most popular one is Cinnamon, but there's also Mate and XFCE. If you're unsure which to pick, I'd recommend going with Cinnamon as it's the most feature-rich and user-friendly option for newcomers. Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition is often recommended for beginners transitioning to Linux, especially from the Windows environment. For several reasons, Cinnamon provides a familiar desktop layout that resembles Windows, with a taskbar, start menu, system tray, and desktop icons. This reduces the learning curve for new users who can easily find their way around the OS without feeling lost. Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition comes bundled with a selection of useful software right out of the box, like the LibreOffice suite, media players, and browser plugins. This ensures that beginners can perform essential tasks immediately after installation without needing to hunt for software. Unlike some Linux distributions that require users to manually install multimedia codecs, Linux Mint Cinnamon includes them by default. This means new users can play most media files without additional setup. Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition provides a blend of familiarity, ease of use, performance, and out-of-the-box readiness that makes it an attractive option for newcomers to the Linux world. The Linux Mint Mate Edition is ideal for a specific set of users based on its characteristics and strength. Here's who might find the Mate Edition particularly appealing. Users with older hardware, Mate, being a continuation of GNOME 2, is lighter on resources compared to more modern desktop environments like Cinnamon or GNOME 3. If you have an older computer or one with limited hardware capabilities, Mate can offer a smoother experience. Mate retains the classic desktop paradigm, similar to the interface of Windows XP or Windows 7. Users who prefer this traditional layout, with a taskbar, applications menu, and desktop icons, might find Mate more to their liking. Unlike some modern desktop environments which come with flashy animations, Mate is more subdued. This can be a preference for users who like a straightforward, no-frills experience. In conclusion, Linux Mint Mate is best for those who value a combination of performance, traditional design, and stability. However, the best edition always boils down to individual preferences and specific use cases. XFCE's lightweight nature makes it a suitable choice for remote desktop scenarios or virtual machines where performance overhead needs to be kept minimal. XFCE provides a straightforward and no-nonsense interface. Users who prefer a clean, efficient, and less cluttered desktop environment often gravitate towards XFCE. Once you've decided on an addition, I'd recommend going with Cinnamon as it's the most feature-rich and user-friendly option for newcomers. You'll be presented with a list of download mirrors. These are different servers hosting the ISO file. It's generally a good idea to pick a mirror that's geographically closer to you for faster download speeds. If you have slow internet or intermittent network connection, I recommend you download using a torrent. Once downloaded, it's a good security practice to verify the integrity of the ISO file. This ensures that the file hasn't been tampered with. You can do this by comparing the SHA-256 checksum of your downloaded file with the one provided on the website. This ensures that the file hasn't been tampered with. And there you have it. You've successfully downloaded the Linux Mint ISO file. From here, you can create a bootable USB drive, try it out on a virtual machine, or install it directly onto your computer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or run into issues, leave a comment below, and our community will do its best to help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.